What's going on guys, Prime Scanners are back for another video and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about this variant that has popped up and go ahead and flash this image on the screen right on here. As you guys can see, we're going to be getting a steel plated hood sickle. Um, there's Smash It next to him, the one that we got, which was a Best Buy exclusive. Um, how I found this uh, was actually through Instagram. Apparently there was something about um, it on GameStop. But it's not just me here guys, I also got Skyfan91 online. You guys can go and say hi. What is going on guys, me Skylarsfan91. And as Prime Skylander said, we have possibly a steel-plated hoodsicle variant, which was apparently up for pre-order on GameStop today. Yeah, so that's going to be very interesting. The fact that they changed it over from Best Buy to GameStop, um, and also same with the thing with the Dark Starter Pack, are going to be exclusive to GameStop. And last year, Frightful Fiesta was exclusive to GameStop. So I feel, uh, for a temporary time, so I feel like they're trying to do all the variants through GameStop. Because maybe that's where more people go or something. Um, what do you think about that? Um, that that could be, that is actually a very very good and reasonable point because usually um, nowadays, like I remember back when Way Four came out for Superchargers and Way Five, I just went to GameStop because my Toys R Us wasn't really getting shipments of their figures. So I guess this is like a good reason for Activision to do this because. If people go to GameStop, then they'll most likely see that Steel Play Hood Skull, and it'll make more sales for it. Mm -hmm. That's what I kind of feel like. So it's very interesting. Um, or maybe GameStop is as paying more, um, maybe to have you know special figures. Cause I feel like there's something, there's some promotional thing or something like that where you, um, certain stores they I think that the you know if you bid more or something like that because that's kind of I feel like with <laughs> legendaries they could have been anywhere but I feel like um, Toys R Us kind of maybe did like a more kind of bribish type thing type in a way so the legendaries stick there um, maybe Best Buy did it last year and then they probably realized I mean it sold good but maybe not what they're expecting so maybe they're gonna try another market and same thing with the Eons Elite you know they did decent at um, was a GameStop, and then now they maybe want to try, you know, Toys R Us. So I feel like they're trying to figure out what variants are going to work good with what store. So what do you kind of think about mm -hmm. what they're trying to do? Um, honestly, I like the plan so far they're doing for Imaginators. How they got? Because that's actually not only the thing. I think the Dark Edition is exclusive to GameStop, mm -hmm, so you can get like a bunch of stuff there at launch. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty good. Maybe that's maybe they're trying to make like a prime store, basically, <laughs> um, just a go-to, basically. So people are going to like Toys R Us, Target for all these variants. Maybe for launch, they're trying to do it on one day, so people are going to go to one store. If you want to get the Dark Edition, Crash, whatever, you go to GameStop. You can also pre-order there. If you guys want to get a Steel Plate, you go there. If you want to get a Halloween variant, you're going to go there. And then maybe over time, they'll spread it out. But just so it makes it maybe easier. But pretty much, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to hit that like. Uh, leave me down in comments below what you guys are going to think. Are you going to pick up this guy? Um, whenever we get images of him, I'm definitely going to show it off. Um, really want to give a shout-out to Skyfan91. Description down below, you guys can go check out his YouTube channel. He usually does um, theory videos. Um, anything you want to add before we close this off? Um... No, that's pretty much it. And uh, actually, oh yeah, oh, and remember, guys, uh, make sure you subscribe to Prime's channel and my channel. And um, let, let, let's know in the comments below what you think of this new variant. All right, guys, like I always uh, say, Twitter and Instagram links down below, and don't forget to keep it premium.